there is this phenomenon in the online game development community and in the programming community in general. And if you have that by yourself, that attribute or however you want to call it, I hate to break it down to you, but you will never learn how to code and make games. In fact, you will never learn anything programming related. And when anybody starts to learn how to code and make games, usually what they do, they start with YouTube. So looking tutorials on YouTube, or they start with online courses, even though you can learn more in online courses. And I'm not saying this because I have online courses. I'm not going to even advertise them, even though you can look at, look it down below in the link. <laughs> and the issue here is that every single time they have a question and even a small thing that happens while they're following that tutorial, automatically you will see a gazillion questions asked to that instructor. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that you should not ask questions, especially if you paid for the course. But the issue here is don't ask questions even for the small details. Like the other day, I got a question that Unity Hub, which is the new, whatever you're gonna call it, common window where you can have all your Unity versions there and projects and whatnot. And the comment was the window that he saw in my video is a little bit different than the window that he has on his computer. Probably the versions are updated and maybe something is a little bit different. And he's like, but how can I download this? I mean, if you can't download a simple program online, what are you doing online? If you're not capable of going on google.com and typing out how to download Unity Hub or how to download Unity or how to download Unreal Engine, Godot, Photoshop, whatever. If you're, if you're not capable to do that, then don't expect that you will ever learn how to code and make games. And these are those small things that I'm talking about. And this is present in the online game development community since day one when I joined, which was seven years ago, six or seven years ago. And probably it was there even before that, but I was not there to see it. But now since I'm there, I see this a lot. And on my YouTube videos, I see comments like, oh, nice tutorial, but by the way, can you do a 2D multiplayer game? Like really, you need me to do a 2D multiplayer game so that you can learn how to do a multiplayer game. Why don't you try to do that on your own? That's the best way to learn. If you're just waiting for me to spoon feed, you're just waiting for the instructor to basically put the spoon in your mouth and you're just gonna chew. In fact, a lot of people are waiting for the instructor to chew the food and feed them like a pigeon feeds his kids, whatever, you know, from mouth to mouth. If you're waiting that, then I hate to break it down to you, but you will never learn how to code and make games. In fact, just quit now and save yourself a lot of headaches. Now, again, don't get me wrong. I'm not pointing fingers at anyone. Everybody can choose and can figure out on their own if they have that or if they don't have. And I'm not saying that you will never learn or it's impossible to learn game development. I'm just saying if you're waiting every single time for the instructor to answer every single question you have, you will never learn. And the other day on Facebook, in one of the groups for game development, I saw a question and the person asked like, what's the best course to take in order to learn how to go to make games? And the answer that one person put there was go on Udemy and buy cheap courses. And you can ask the instructor questions as many times as you like. And that is not true. I mean, technically you can ask as many questions on Udemy, especially you guys who are there, you know that, but that's not fair to you and to the instructor. You buy a course for $10, the instructor gets five out of that because Udemy takes 50% cut. And most of the times the instructor gets only one or $2 on that course. So you pay $2, the instructor gets $2 for the course, for the knowledge that he spent years learning and the course has 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 hours of content. And then you come and you bomb him with gazillions of questions. How can you do simple things that you can just Google? That's not only the issue that you are, let's say, bothering that instructor, but you will not learn properly. Tomorrow, when you progress enough that you think that you can apply for a job and you apply and maybe you get the job, you will not have that instructor to hold your hand while you're solving problems on your job. So my advice to you and to anyone who wants to learn how to code and make games and programming in general, get used to asking questions less. But again, if something is complex and you did everything 
that you can do. You Googled, you searched on YouTube, you searched on forums, Reddit, wherever you ask questions, Facebook groups and whatnot, and you were not able to find a solution, then it's totally fine to ask. And that in that case, it's your obligation to ask. But don't do it right away as soon as something comes up. Try, as I said, my advice to you, try to get used to Googling things, trying to find things on your own, because that is how you will learn and progress more. And instead of you asking me how to create a 2D multiplayer game, you will learn how to do that on your own. And instead of waiting me to create monetization tutorial for Unity, you will know how to do that on your own. Now, don't get me wrong. I want you to watch my videos. I want you to buy my courses. I earn more, more money that way. But more than that, I want you to learn. So I'm giving you these things. When you learn, you will not need more. You will not need my courses anymore. You will not need my YouTube channel, my tutorials anymore. You will be free and you can do things on your own. So these are my two cents for this video. And I have some links down below. You can check them out. I have some free stuff. I have some paid stuff. My Game Development Academy has nearly 450 hours and you can learn Unreal, Unity and whatnot. Like this video, subscribe, and what else can I say? See you guys in the next video. If you like this video, don't stop now. Keep learning. Click on these videos that are on my side that are specifically selected for you. So just click on one of these videos and continue watching.